Tell you what, I've decided to make this a mission to find me a huntsman. Here he is. They can seriously flatten their bodies so they can get into tiny little crevices. And I knew I would find one under some bark. They're extremely fast spiders. They hunt rather than build webs to catch their prey. What the heck are those? That cockroach has just appeared out of nowhere. And our huntsman friend is just down there. Might just wait a bit and see if the huntsman actually has a go at this food source. Um, yeah, right. So now they're buddying up like their besties. And it's throwing my whole theory out that their cockroach is their main food source. Here you go. What a ripper. So I decided to bring it home because I thought my wife would like a new pet. In the winter, obviously, these spiders are a lot quiet. Well, and a few seconds later, it's on the wall. A very familiar sight for people when they see huntsmen. It's often on the wall like this. Now, I actually thought because it's winter and it was cold, it might have slowed it down, but it hasn't at all. A bite from a huntsman is not going to kill you. It might hurt a little bit, but their venom is not a worry for us. Huntsmen have actually got cross-facing fangs so when it bites you it sort of pins it's like a pincer it's actually really good for catching prey as you can imagine because it can they can hold on with their fangs as well as they can envenomate um, i can tell it's a female because she's quite a large abdomen and her pedipalps the small little appendages at the front of her mouth parts are a bit smaller than they are in the male because the male uses them to deposit sperm into the female so they need to be a bit bigger and they actually use them in kind of like a mating dance where they sort of display them around. Unlike a lot of other spiders, the males and females won't fight or won't eat each other after they're mated. This, by the way, is called a social huntsman. Most common huntsmen will find around. As you can see, their front legs are longer than their back legs. It makes it really easy for them to move in all different directions and slide into small spaces. I'm a huge fan of them. I like them in the house. I don't necessarily like them in your car, but I know that you've got huntsmen around, you, you, you're going to have very few bugs and other irritating insects in, in the house. So most of the spiders they used in the movie Arachnophobia were these spiders. I'll try and reenact a similar scene to the movie. I can see it crawling. How good is that? There we go. 